Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year to everyone! My name is Mikek, and here is this year's Christmas special for you folks. This time around, we're going to gather around the campfire and sing a campfire song, because things are going to get hot and heavy with Luna. Having said that, as with some of the other Christmas specials, we're only covering month one. Ironically, this playthrough is just something chill so I can showcase some of Luna's fiery potential. Speaking of which, who is Luna? For those of you who don't know, Luna is a Conflux hero with the Firewall specialty. This gives her Firewall as her starting spell, and it deals double damage, making her an excellent starting hero. She also starts off with Fire Magic, which is super useful, as I'll explain in just a moment. Going into this playthrough, there are three things you should know that will help our use of Firewall. The first is how Firewall itself actually works. A standard Firewall costs 8 spell points and will deal the hero's spell power times 10 damage and then an additional 10 base damage on top of that. Basic Fire Magic brings the cost down to 6 spell points and then Advanced and Expert Fire Magic increase the size of the Firewall and its base damage. Luna's specialty then doubles the overall damage. Sorcery as a secondary skill and Orb of Temptuous Fire can boost damage even further, but I'm not going to focus on that in this video. It will always last two rounds unless someone uses a spell, like Advanced Remove Obstacle or Expert Dispel. The second thing you should know is that when going up against wandering monsters, the weaker your army is, the more stacks they will split themselves up into. Essentially, this means that Luna should generally use fewer units when clearing the map, since Firewall can kill smaller stacks much more easily. This is an important detail because we're going to be using this particular trick a lot throughout this playthrough. What this trick also allows you to do is that you can put your main army on a different hero. The third trick is that two hex units have some strange behavior when it comes to firewall. They usually won't come forward if you have your firewall right up in your stack's face, but if you put it one hex back, they will come forward. If you have a firewall covering both hexes in front of your stack, then they will come forward and get hit by firewall twice. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I have to say on that front. I am setting the map to uh, 6LM10A as the template, and then we have the usual settings. 1 on 7 free-for-all, 2 types of roads, none strong, 200% difficulty, and I'll use gold as my preferred starting bonus. Also, to get into the Christmas spirit, I shall color myself green. Red is pretty Christmassy too, I suppose, but I always use it, so might as well switch it up a bit. Now, let us see Luna in action. If you're not already aware, many of the features you'll see in today's video, such as the ability to split units up quickly, the revamped user interface, and seeing more information when selecting your starting hero, and town, those are all a part of the HD mod, and I'll include a link in the description down below for where you can get it. For any other questions you might have, make sure to check out my Frequently Asked Questions pinned post in the comments section of this video. Alright, let's begin. So, we have Luna to start, and 500 gold, it doesn't look like we have a pre-built level 2, and we do have Passus available as our next hero. Uh, so, let's start it off. There's a treasure chest here. It's very tempting to try to get this for uh, XP, so I can start buffing up Luna, but I would like to get another hero at least up and going. Oh, I might even be able to get it as early as this turn with any luck. Ooh. Yeah, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to get passes straight up, and we're just going to maybe push with passes. 
And he actually comes with a lot of air elementals, it looks like, too. So, very lucky on my part. Hmm. Just thinking about how I want to do this here. Uh, probably going to keep Luna close to the road. Uh, only gems. And what is this? Another mystical garden. Lots of mystical gardens, it looks like. And also, uh, infernal troglodytes, who I'm pretty sure are guarding this... Are supposed to be guarding this scroll. Uh, I might be able to explore that in a bit. With Fasus. Um, hmm. Trying to think about this. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm going to send Passus to go deal with it first, start off. I know I'm supposed to be using Luna to kind of showcase what she's capable of, but we'll have a chance to do that in a bit. I just need to get some gold early on uh, so that I can actually get the ball rolling here. Because the first thing I want to do, actually, with uh, Luna is to get uh, sprites on her. Because once I have speed 9 sprites, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, I'll actually show you why it's going to be easier in a second. Let me just take this battle. Oh, and look, this looks like they got the magic M word. Uh, but that's okay. We can we actually have a way to deal with these. So let's do this. Uh, yep, I had to draw out the retaliation. Get a chance to swing. Aha! Again, they, they love doing this. That's okay. I can draw out retaliation again. You can wait, wait. Swing with the uh, big pixie stack, and then finish them off with our own morale. Nice. Alrighty. Uh, so we got 1,500 gold to start. And I suppose I can start heading back to town and get this uh, unit upgraded to a sprite and then keep going. But uh, the reason why it would be difficult to run around with a pixie instead of a sprite would be... Er, I mean, you can still do it. It's just that uh, it's a little tougher. Um, since you can't actually make it to the right side of the map in one turn, uh, once you get off your own terrain. I'll, I'll maybe show later on what I mean. But, uh, for the time being, I'm just gonna head back to town and, uh, see if I can get those sprites. And then, after I get those sprites, I can maybe see if I can deal with the familiars. Although, uh, familiars are a little scary. You gotta be kind of careful about what fights you take, because uh, even though... See, here's here's a good example of um, kind of a scary fight here. I, I would normally let Passus deal with this uh, next turn while I move over here and pick up this gold with Luna, but I'm actually going to show you quickly why uh, it's kind of scary. Okay, well, here it won't matter, because there happens to be this obstacle in the way. But if there wasn't this obstacle in the way... Uh, this stack right here, if they get morale... Actually, it would be any of these stacks, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. If any one of these middle stacks get morale, then they could actually hit and immediately kill this uh, one sprite. So, this is actually a dangerous fight with Luna. Um, they're all going to come forward, of course. Uh, now, here's the thing. If I were a pixie instead of a sprite, and this were grass terrain, or if this weren't grass terrain then I would only be able to move to about here as a speed 7 unit. Uh, am I doing my math right here? 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah. And then I would not be able to reach the far corner of the map. I'd only be able to make it to about here uh, by the time uh, by the time the next uh, turn rolled around. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that math is correct. But because I'm a sprite, I can do this. Or, and I'm on uh, grass terrain. I can move here. I can place my firewall here, uh, move this uh, sprite down here, and you'll see all of these familiars, who are each just a stack of six familiars, so they have 24 health per stack. They just run into the firewall, they die, and that's all there is to it, right? Uh, obviously, you have to be kind of careful, because... Uh, if you're looking at fights like this, a uh, fight against, like, Master Gremlins, for example, yeah, you're going to have a bit of trouble with that, because, well, you know, they're ranged. They don't need to go through your firewall, right? But in this case, it's not a huge deal, uh, because we don't have to deal with the Master Gremlins. They're off-road. We can uh, choose to avoid that fight in particular, but... If they were on the road, then I would have to bring my main army, or get passes to deal with it, or, well, I need to find some other way to deal with them. Ah, well, would you look at that, how the uh, tides have turned. Rather unfortunate. Um, we will need to let uh, 
Luna go and deal with these Master Gremlins. But after that, I'm going to switch it back over to the Sprites and see what they can do. Uh, in my main town, I'm going to get Town Hall. Uh, yep. I can bring this stack over here. And I don't want to risk losing... Well... I don't know, actually. I'm, like, thinking about this. Do I care for sp or keeping my Pixies alive, or should I... Like, I only really need one Sprite on Luna. Or maybe, like, a handful of Sprites at any given time, but... In this case, maybe I'll bring all of them. Uh, I don't know whether or not to uh, let my air elemental soak up the damage, or if I should use my pixies. I'll, I'll let my pixies soak up the damage on this one. Oh, they got the they got morale. Very nice, good. And I unfortunately don't have magic arrow though. If I had magic arrow, I could hit this stack, and I could save myself some losses. But that's okay. Uh, this is already looking pretty good as is. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? I'll move these ones here, move these ones here, uh, draw out retaliation on them so that the pixies can swing, draw out retaliation on these guys so that my air elementals can swing, although I guess my air elementals are strong enough that they didn't even really need to draw out the retail, but uh, it never hurts to be safe, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna hit this, of course, I need to get this Garden of Revelation for plus knowledge, um, plus spell points is quite useful, and uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good so far. Let's get the ball, uh, let's keep the ball rolling. Uh, we have more gold just lying around. Gold golems, uh, that is some bad luck, bad bad luck on the start um, in some regards. But we at least have these sprites that uh, we can break through. So. That's probably what we're going to do. This is truly unfortunate. No learning stones. No, uh, okay, there's a treasure chest over there, but it's quite far off-road. Um, maybe the next zone will be a little bit better. With any luck. Do I have... No, I, I really haven't been able to level at all with this hero. Um, yeah, mostly... Yeah, I'm going to lose some pixies here, of course, but yeah, I can't really pop a proper firewall on this one. Ow. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm, just trying to think about how to go about doing this here. Uh, hit these ones first. Can probably put these ones down here, just for the time being. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Okay. Did manage to preserve one at least. Swing these ones. Uh, draw out retail on these. Hit with these ones. And... How many did I end up losing? Fifteen? Oh, tough. Tough, but... Uh, yes, they get the job done. Uh, here we go. Uh, hmm. It's a little dangerous. Uh, this zone could be owned by one of the AI, so I will actually uh, keep my army on Luna for now. But I will get her to grab this for some XP, because she desperately needs it. And yeah, air is, of course, quite useful for this hero, and with most other heroes, especially if I were to get Dimension Door. But, in this case, we need to get uh, fire magic. Sorry, advanced fire magic to get her more damage on her, on her firewall. And because it goes to three hexes, um, so it'll be a lot easier dealing with a lot of the fights later on. Also, I can... Always build a magic university to get air magic if I need it later anyway, so yeah, I think that's fine for now. Uh, I will send passes forward to scout. This is kind of an unusual situation where uh, Luna and passes are already in a different zone where I don't actually know if the... Uh, AI is going to be hanging out. Oh, you know what? This is actually excellent. Uh, I mean, I, again, I don't know why the guards... Like, I've been having some pretty bad luck with these guards. Um, what I mean by this is that, like, all the fights that I'm taking here, or most of them, there's, like, Master Gremlins that are blocking the road, or uh, Sprites that are blocking the road, or Marksmen. Like, these are... 
I should have talked about this earlier, one of the weaknesses that Luna would encounter is having these ranged guards or uh, fights where uh, the monsters are super fast, but you don't usually encounter that many of them. And hopefully later on down the line we won't encounter as many. Um, like, yeah, no, fingers crossed. Here, so firewall, uh, put this here. Um, and just do the math here, I mean, just eyeballing it, this is the largest stack, they've got 8 times 3 health, that's 24 health, there's no way they survive even the most basic firewall. Oh, yeah, there you go, uh, they got morale, if I didn't put the firewall up right away, I would have, uh, lost my sprite, and I would have also lost Luna. Uh, okay, that was, uh, a bit of an oopsies, hold on, let's, let's pretend that never happened. Um, here's the thing with, uh, turn sequence. I should, or I'm supposed to defend, otherwise if I use wait phase, then, um, my sprite goes first, and then their sprite gets a turn. So, so we'll pretend I did that on purpose. But, uh, yeah, here's what's supposed to happen. There you go. Alright, perfect. Yeah, you guys didn't see that. So, so yeah, uh, clear out those sprites. I'm pretty sure these, are these serpent flies guarding the road? to the next zone, or are they guarding the spell scroll? I can't really tell. It's kind of a strange uh, map generation here. But at the very least, I know this magic well uh, is in this zone, so I should hit this. Huh. That really is a weird oddly shaped uh, like <laughs> road uh, like between zones. Uh, I think it goes into the other zone and then outwards. I don't know. That's a weird one. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't want to, like, go into a zone I'm not supposed to be in, but... Uh, I mean, looking at how the map is, I, mean, huh. I actually think this is supposed to be a connection from this zone to the next. Kind of a weird, weird map shape. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. The stables definitely isn't supposed to be here. I'm gonna hit the Redwood Observatory first and see. Yeah, that's so odd. Lots of halflings? Are you serious? Wow, they're really not making things easy for me, are they? There you go. Here's here's an interesting battle. A fight against greater basilisks. And here's another one against Horde of Demons. Now, these are the kinds of fights I was talking about. Oh, Pack of Iron Golems, of course. Um... Yeah, some of these fights are are good, some of them are kind of ugly. And there would be one of the AI, except they're also blocked off by more ranged guards, of course. Um, yeah, good stuff. Alright, well, let's hit, hit up this first. And uh, just to recap... Just to recap here, uh, so I have advanced fire magic. Uh, advanced fire magic, I believe, uh, does. Well, I mean, it does 40 at a minimum. Um, I think it does about 60 damage. I think I can actually kill a few of these uh, off first with this firewall. There you go. Oh, no, it's 100. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'd forgotten for a second how much that would do, but. It is about... Actually... Spell power times 10, uh, plus 20, and then double damage off of Luna's specialty. Okay, there you go. That's why it does 100 damage. Perfect. Good to know. So... Yeah. 100 damage. So... Um, here's what I'm going to do, because I don't want them coming forward, right? Here's a good example of what I was talking about at the beginning. If I put my firewall uh, here, they would come forward. And if any one of these stacks get morale, I'm doomed. If I put my firewall right here, though, then they won't come forward until I place the second one, and then it is uh, much safer. So, place this here, and then they get hit by both... Well, now that I have the uh, firewall on both hexes, they run into both, they take, um, damage from each of the firewalls, and, yeah, we're, we're chilling. Uh, so, 
yeah, I'm going to hit this treasure chest. Going to pick this up for some XP. Ah, it looks like we also have access to basic intelligence. Um, which could help us uh, get some more spell points. So that we can use our uh, spells more. Or our firewall more. Ah, now here's another uh, interesting fight against a Griffin Conservatory. Now, I'm probably going to be heading Luna here in a little bit. Um, just trying to figure out if I should use the stables. Uh, I honestly think I should clear out the Serpent Flies first, because I... Yeah, I seriously don't know if there's supposed to be a guard here. Uh, actually, I think the Serpent Flies are guarding the Spell Scroll and the Windmill. Like, I can't imagine them guarding a scroll and not having them. I'm just going to go into this zone. Yeah, I mean, I've been debating about it the last few minutes, because I don't really know... I'm supposed to be crossing over, but you know what? Let, let's just say I will. Uh, I'm gonna hit the dwarves again. Um, gonna clear the dwarves to get some XP, and so I can hit the stables easier. Um, and then after that, I can also get some XP, and that should allow me to level up to level five. From there, I can head eastward, and I should be able to clear out the pixies and the troglodytes. Um, Yeah, the other option. The other option would be to head underground. I don't know what kind of goodies would be underground, but if I could clear out this Griffin Conservatory, and it turns out to be like a mini conservatory, like mini as in. Um, when I say mini, I mean like if it's like uh, only five stacks of ten Griffins, then I should be able to handle it uh, reasonably well. But otherwise, I'm in trouble. So that's kind of where we're at. Having said that, I should have grabbed this pile of wood a little earlier. Dracon? Use Dracon. Yeah, I would like to get some air elementals, but I am short wood. Yeah, let's get Dracon for now. And I'm going to use him to scout out this uh, parts of this area, and also maybe grab some of these mystical gardens while I'm at it. Um... Yeah, grab that for some wood, get that uh, mage shield I was talking about, and then head westwards this way. Um, grab this for gold. And uh, yeah, I think that's... A good stopping point for this turn. Oh, it looks like we have blue next to us. Ah, interesting. Okay, great. Uh, I think I haven't actually hit this pile, or this mystical garden yet, but I can grab this one. Um, glad I didn't send Luna all the way out here for it. Oh, there's even more gold piles over here. Alright, excellent. I'm pretty set on that front then. Uh, Altar of Air is coming up, so I'll have plenty of air alleys for the next turn. Uh, I can use Luna to hit Dwarves. Now, um, as we know, Dwarves do have uh, magic resistance, but that will not matter here, because uh, they... These Dwarves... Uh, their magic resistance won't work on Firewall, so... That should be okay. Alright. I kind of wish... I really wanted to, like, slow down these, uh, it's just these battle dwarves that are kind of annoying, uh, because if they get morale, then I'm in trouble. Um, you know what I'm gonna do, perhaps, because I don't want to take chances, and besides, I got a magic well coming up, so it doesn't really matter too much, I guess. I'm gonna actually put my, uh, my firewall here, and... As long as these guys can't morale me, I'm okay. So I'm going to go right here. Ah, there it is. I will wait. And I think this should do the trick. I just wait here. They all run in. Excellent. And, ooh, they aren't even offering me diplomacy, but that is not what our playthrough is focused on, and I really would prefer to max out fire magic ASAP. So let's uh, get our expert wisdom, or yeah, expert wisdom. Uh, windmill. 
Ah, uh, yes. Uh, might as well hit this. Hit this, and... I will wait right here. Okay. Next stack is coming up. Passing turn. Because, start of this turn, I can actually grab this stable set and get the ball rolling from here. Uh, as we know, we have this hero running around, collecting things. Oh, more gold. Good for me. And I can double back to the Mystical Gardens in a little bit. Oh, cool. Some Orc Chieftains guarding uh, some resources. And here we go. We have Brissa. Now I got two choices. I can either uh, buy out all of my air elementals, or... Nope. Oh. Okay, I did actually hit the stables. Good, good. Uh... Yeah, ideally I would like to clear out these Serpent Flies, but I don't know how many Serpent Flies that's going to be. If it's like 49 of them, and they split themselves up into 7 stacks, 140 uh, health each. That would be, like, that's like the absolute worst case scenario. That would be pretty bad for me. Um, especially if, especially if there are Dragonflies. Uh, if there are Dragonflies and they get morale in opening round, I'm, I'm screwed. So I don't really want to risk uh, going up against Serpent Flies here, so I'll have to go off-road, but uh, I think it's worth it in this case. Um, I can always come and kill them later. I'm going to head this way, I'm going to clear out the Pixies, then go Trogs. Again, another stroke of bad luck here is that this terrain, it's snow terrain, so there is a bit of a penalty associated with having to go off-road to pick up all of these uh, random map objects. But it do be like that sometimes. Um, Okay, so earlier, I would, like, normally I would max out on sprites, um, but depending on the size of this uh, Griffin Conservatory, I might need to use, uh, I might actually need to use store, or air elementals rather than pixies, uh, because I might need something to tank. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. Uh, six sprites. I think this should be sufficient. I might even just buy out everybody as sprites. Yeah, I can afford to do that. I'm going to do that. Uh, how far can we go? Up to about here, I'd say. Um, and I can actually reach Luna next turn, I believe. Uh, let's see. I don't have the off-road, so I can probably go straight up to about... Here. Yeah, I think I have maybe enough movement. Yeah, I think it should be okay. Uh, Alright, I'm going to pass the turn here. Hopefully we can grab our first Griffin Conservatory. If we can grab the Griffin Conservatory, it would be a huge, huge boost in terms of tempo, uh, considering that this first week has been Kind of rough um, with everything that's happened. Uh, here we are. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's get some pixies over, add some sprites and some air elementals. We have a nice juicy stack of air elies, all 27 of them, hanging out. And here's the thing. Um, I can bring the air elies. I'll bring two of these, uh, and the rest can be sprite stacks. Okay, excellent. Um, I'm going to head this way to take out these pixies first. Wow, they're really going to make things difficult for me, aren't they? Um, I honestly wasn't expecting them to want to fight but it looks like they do for whatever reason, so... Uh, so be it, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. I will place Firewall here. Uh, and 
probably one in front of the uh, air elementals. That should do the trick. Should have brought more one stacks, I gotta be honest. There you go. And there you go. Okay, excellent. Uh, yeah, we'll grab this learning stone. I didn't level off of that. Uh, come on, please, Trogs. Let's go. Give me the level I need. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. Always scared about that. Um... Three up. All right, and we'll wait one more and swing. Very nice, and it looks like we got expert fire. We made just enough XP for expert fire, which is excellent. We'll step in and we'll see what the size of it is. Horde of griffins. It looks like it is a min uh, a mini cons. Um, yeah, this is looking really good for me so far. Um, all right, let me actually just calculate this quickly. So it's uh, spell power times ten, so it's actually uh, 40 damage plus 50 because it's expert now, so that's 90 damage times 2 off of firewall. So, uh, 100 and so 90 times 2, that's 180 damage. And the griffin stacks are uh, 10 each and 25 health. So, I need so my firewall does 180, and they have. I'm having a brain fart trying to explain this. Basically, I need two firewalls to kill him, okay? There we go. Done. Problem solved. Alright, here we go. Uh, do I wish to attack the guards? Yes, I would. Um, I'll move this stack up here. Yeah, I gotta slow all of them down. Uh, keep these ones here. Keep the, this one here this way. Uh, move this one back here. And then probably go firewall. Eh, I don't really need to lose one. Honestly, I don't even really think I need to move the stacks uh, over there. Uh, this is part of the reason why I brought these air elementals, by the way. Like, normally I would use just like a... Sp even... Honestly, if I had... Um, Seven sprites, I probably could have done this battle with just seven sprites also. Uh, all I would have needed to do is keep a stack here and then um, let the griffins hit the other stacks and then just keep dropping double firewall and it would have been okay. Um, where I wouldn't have been able to do this battle without the air elementals is if it was going to be uh, 5 by 20 or 5 by 30. That's why I brought all of the air elementals, not just not just sprites, because if this were for some, like, if, you know, in the 70% chance that it wasn't a 5 by 10 then maybe I would be able to handle uh, a slightly larger size uh, cons or Griffin Conservatory with all these air elementals, but uh, I don't actually need to worry about that, it looks like, because I got my... Uh, I did indeed get my Angel. Booyah. Oh, excellent. This will allow me to move only the Angel here. And I can move uh, my other heroes this way. Alright, excellent. So, we are... Oh, that is some bad luck. Uh... Okay. I... <laughs> this... uh, they're really giving me a hard time today, aren't they? Okay, well, um, I'm not going to be able to surrender out, so I'll have to do as much damage as I can to their army as possible. Uh, and then I'll let uh, Luna deal with the rest. In particular, I think I want to take out these uh, Beholders, because the other stacks I can deal with using my usual shenanigans. Uh, seven... Yeah, I think I should be okay. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Um, let's slow these guys down. I'm, I, I think I might even be able to win this battle. Uh, maybe. Like, if I'm actually thinking about this. Uh, if I go here, maybe? Oh, they're targeting the sprites. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, well. 
Mm, can I do this battle? I don't think so. No, I can't. I, I have minnows and manticores to deal with. Oh, gee. If it were one or the other, then maybe I would have stood a chance. Maybe. But both of these guys? No way. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh, and they get morale too. Of course they would. Uh, well. I can at least surrender out. Oh, no, I don't have enough gold. Boom! Uh, yeah. I think this is a good point to surrender and keep whatever's left of my army. Now he attempts to fight Luna. Now now he has set himself up for death. Haha. -ha. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, dude. Okay, fine. Not a huge deal. Uh, I can always just... Oh! Firewall action. Okay, well. In that case, I can go maybe here? I got plenty of spell points. I think I should be okay. There you go. Excellent. Swing. And that does the trick. Uh, advanced intelligence. Very nice. So he chose death. And I'm going to actually uh, move Luna in through this two-way. Uh, head straight for what I presume would be... Yeah, this is his main town. Um... Now, my question is... Uh, oh, I don't have enough gold. Oh, you know what? Maybe this hero could pull it off? No, I guess not. Uh, I was thinking maybe this hero could farm enough gold that I could get my reinforcements now rather than later, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I had to make a choice. Uh, that choice being whether or not I should try to push Scar with just my angel. If I had magic arrow, I'd do it, but I don't. Um... I'd only be able to attack with the Angel and with Firewall, and I don't know how much damage those arrow t uh, towers are going to do here. So, yeah, I think I can actually wait a turn. It's not a huge deal. Uh, yeah, if he comes out to fight me, he dies, so I should just clear out everything in this side. Yeah, there you go. Fight against Whites. Yeah, might as well get some free XP. Why not? I could probably quick combat this, right? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I didn't really feel like doing this battle, honestly. Um, uh, Expert in, yeah, we're okay on that. We got a little bit of um, spell power too, which is excellent. Uh, let's see, so 1253 on gold. Next turn I should have enough. This hero just needs to get a little bit. Yeah, might as well grab this. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I actually don't think I can make it, now that I think about it. Mm. Okay, maybe I got a little greedy. Oh, not even greedy. Uh, there is no second hero here uh, who can collect the army and bring it by the time uh, next turn rolls around. I need some, like, scraps. All my scraps are here. Oh, yeah, my gnolls. Right, I had gnolls and sprites lying around, too. Well, this is unfortunate. I don't think there's any where I can get some spare units either, unfortunately for me. Well, that's too bad. Uh, I can collect some resources for now. And... Yeah, I got some trogs. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. I definitely have to try to shut down uh, Teal uh, while I'm here. It would be kind of a waste not to. But after I finish shutting down Teal, I also need to find what else is in the area. And it really is unfortunate that he did uh, kill off my air alley stack, because what I would have done with that air alley stack, I would have probably sent that army south, or not south, but into the subterranean gate, um, either one of these, to go see what else is here, um, and then maybe I could have done some farming. Also, there's this fight here against Horde of Demons, that would have also been another good fight, which I could have taken so that, uh, I could level Luna. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do afterwards, but the uh, point is this this should have been handled by that other hero uh, who I'm actually going to rebuy now. Okay, excellent. Um, get some air alleys. 
get them upgraded. I eh, might as well bring all of my sprites now. Uh, no harm in it. Uh, yeah. And where are we at? Maybe I can position myself to go and capture the town come next turn. Two-way. Alright, I'm going to clear out these mummies and then the zombies. And then I'm going to go back to uh, the two-way. That should give me a pretty sizable amount of XP. Um, it's very tempting to visit the Marlotta Tower, but I don't think I'm going to really need it here. So I'm not going to bother with that. Can I quick combat this? No. Okay, I can't. Alright, here we go. Uh... This is doable if I just kite them non-stop, but in the interest of saving time, I'm just going to drop the old uh, wall of death and let them all run into it. There you go. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, yeah, next battle. <sighs> nope. Okay, well, I can't do that one either. But if I were to guess... Yeah, I don't need to firewall this one. No, this one's quick. Okay, perfect. Okay. And swing these guys. Swing them. And I'm pretty sure the rest of this fight should be uh, easy cat go, but just in case. Okay, yeah, no, definitely doable from here. Great. Uh, grab this for gold. Might as well. And step back through the two-way. And I can see that this girl can make it back to Luna. Uh, pretty easily, so I don't know why it won't let me. Okay, great. Ah, there's Tan, uh, breaking the gogs and pushing upwards. Um, he's actually got a pretty, I don't want to say sizable army, but that's not the right word for it. Eh. If I bring only the angel, it could be a problem. I uh, will say that. Uh, here we go. So here's my reinforcements. And in particular, I want to bring the gnolls um, and keep the sprites and the air alleys. Yeah, this should, this should be more than sufficient to handle what I have to deal with here. Okay, then let's uh, get the ball rolling. They're targeting the angel? Seriously? Oh, that's not good. They are targeting the angel. That is... Yeah, that actually is a bit of a surprise. Um, okay, I think I got an idea. Place firewall here, perhaps. Maybe they'll stone gaze me. Okay, well, that kind of works. Buys me a bit of time, I suppose. The arrow tower does 94 damage to the angel? What? Okay, well, this is kind of, uh... Kind of interesting. <laughs> wow, alright. <laughs> the arrow tower originally was doing uh, 40 damage, so the only reason I could think of as to why the arrow tower did 94 damage on that shot is because after being stone gazed, they act like that actually amplifies the damage on the angels. I bet because yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's got to be a bug. Uh, otherwise, the angel would have been fine. Huh? Okay. Well, that's interesting. It's, it's actually this is probably. <laughs> uh, this playthrough just gives me all sorts of trouble. Okay, you know what? I don't like doing this, but I should have just done this from the beginning. One sec. I don't know why I didn't do this at the start. Like, forget forget trying to bring just the nulls. I don't know why I'm trying to hold back my sprites. I can actually... <sighs> I've never had to load this much on any of these silly demo playthroughs, but you know what? You know what? These things happen from time to time, alright? These things do happen from time to time. That's all I'm going to say. Alright, let's get <laughs> these sprites. Maybe this will 
make it a little bit easier for me. There you go. I figured as much. They're willing to target the sprites because they're also flying units that can get over the walls. And now they're these are going to target the sprites, which is why I didn't want to bring them, but, I mean, uh, that's kind of... They're not making things very easy for me, now are they? Alrighty. Good. Uh... Swing these guys. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna put these guys here. These ones here. These ones here. Great. And then... Hit these ones really hard. I'm just... Again, if I had magic arrow, this would be... This battle would be trivial, for sure. But... I guess... Sometimes... It's just gonna be like that. Uh, hmm. I wonder if this will work. I think this should work. There you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, basic Eagle Eye. Well, that's what I get for not taking diplomacy earlier. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go with learning on this one, of course. Uh, there you go. Now I get Magic Arrow. Uh, the irony about. Um. Losing in the first place with the moles. Oh, yeah. Don't think of it, I can actually grab Mana Vortex here. Oh, yeah, that that is just amazing. Okay, cool. Maybe this will be a nice stroke of luck for me. Uh, and I can actually... I'm trying to think how, how to go about doing this here. I think I can send Luna back. I'm going to send Luna back this way to go deal with uh, this fight. Okay, well, I, I drastically overestimated how difficult this fight was going to be. Um, you know, they should all be able to reach in one turn, so I'm just going to drop this right here, and I should be okay. And defend, and they all run into the firewall. That's easy. Actually, you didn't even need to drop the firewall. I probably could have gotten by with just... Um, if I had just used the angel and swung at them each one by one, I probably would have, would have been able to win that fight uh, also, but that's okay. Whatever. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, we got the big stack. I'm gonna keep this hero here. Wait out. And I'll bring this hero over. Disguise. Oh, what a fantastic spell scroll. Uh, ah, yes. Horde of Demons and also Pack of Iron Golems. Alright, two very interesting battles. The Horde of Demons fight... I'm gonna give this a shot. Um, yeah, this should be doable with 354 spell points. Uh, I don't have Slow. I don't have Blind, but I should be able to get by with Haste and Mass Curse uh, in the worst case scenario, where... I somehow managed to bypass all of the uh, firewalls, just escape all the firewalls. Ooh, that is a lot of them. Um, okay, well, that's fine. We can still... Uh, how do we want to do this? Maybe like this. Oh, yeah. One firewall already does the trick, it looks like. Uh, they're not going to be able to reach... Let's go here, on this side. There we go. And that makes things a little easier for me. Uh, just drop a firewall here. I think we are okay. Uh, yeah, the angel's tanky enough to survive. Drop another firewall here. And I think we should be okay. Um... Yeah, and I don't need a magic arrow with the rest. Yeah, see? Yeah, easy Kaka, easy 3000 XP right there. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a better artifact. I mean, Garniture of Interference, like, could have really used, I don't know, if it were like Orb of Temptuous Fire or something like that, that would have been really nice. But you know what? I'll take a fight where I get some free XP. That's not a huge problem, I suppose. Okay, so from here on out, uh, where is this? We got 
teal hovering out. Hmm. Gonna need to deal with that. Uh, but I also need to capture Glade Root too. Now I'm gonna do this. I think. Yeah, I need to deal with the uh, fight against Iron Golems and the uh, Ogre Magi too, but I also want to shut down this AI. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to skip the AI. I don't usually do this. If I were playing this seriously, I would normally go for the AI, but um, kind of the goal of this playthrough is supposed to be to see what we can do by the end of month one. So if I'm going chasing around AI that haven't even built up their towns, like it doesn't even have a citadel, then I don't really get too much out of it. Ooh, fight against monks. That's kind of a scary one. Fight against gold golems. Well, this is this is some kind of treasure zone, that's for sure. Uh, okay, well. I will head westward, then. Why do they have to give me all these ranged fights? That hurts. Yeah, I wonder... Great. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of, like, part of the reason why I'm hesitant to deal with these Iron Golems is because they have their special ability, uh, which reduces damage by, like, what, or spell damage by, like, 75%. But I'm, like, weighing out my options here. I could probably take them. Um, I mean, with 330 spell points, I have... Uh, firewall at my disposal. In the worst case scenario, I can use Mass Curse. So, and, and I have Cure. So I don't see myself really losing that battle in any regard. Uh, I still can't believe though that the stupid AI managed to build Manticores on week one and actually gave me a, like a hard time and took out most of my army. Truly unfortunate. But I guess what this also means is uh, it gives Luna a nice chance to shine. So. Can't complain too, too much, I suppose. Uh, also, I've been neglecting my town. I should uh, take the time to build it uh, up now. Can probably get uh, Firebirds come next week. Uh, that should speed things up some. I mean, they haven't given me much else in terms of map objectives, but they've given me resources, so uh, that's pretty nice. Oh, okay. Well, I'm blocked off by pixies. Uh, here we go. Let's let Luna do her thing. And off we go. Alrighty. Well, see, I mean, still gets the job done. Just takes a bit longer, of course. And get one more firewall up here, and I'll just defend, and I think that should do the trick. Well, I could have even just won on, like, had this angel just fight all of these iron golems and solo them. Maybe, like, two damage each, so... Um, okay. Well, there's going to be another fight here, of course, so let's uh, make sure to do this one. Aha! Now, this is a nice, easy battle, I imagine. Yep. And defend. And into their death they go. Very nice. And after a while, it just becomes, uh, you know, zen, you know? Like, you're just doing some meditation while you're taking these battles one at a time. Uh, I'm going to wait a second, then if I go here, and then drop my firewall right here, I can hide in this corner, and it should be okay. Alright, boom. Hit, hit, hit. That's easy enough. Uh, pack of War Unicorns and a Naga Bank. Alright. Let's see. What's the uh, pack of Nagas, few Naga Queens? I think this should be easy enough. I'll show you how it's done, or I'll die trying. I'll uh, put the firewall, I believe it's here, then they won't want to come forward. And then I place my firewall here, and then they die. This will give me the means to get my um, firebirds for next week, because uh, this will give me a good amount of gold and gems. There you go. So just to recap, I put my uh, firewall in front of my angel first, because I didn't want the Naga Queens to come forward. If I placed it on the back hex, then they would have come forward and... Well, I wouldn't have been able to get the uh, second wall off. 
course. Apply battle results, yes. Uh, expert learning, very nice. 6,000 gold, uh, 62 gems, absolutely fantastic. And let's go get that citadel. Um, you really can't do too much with this town, I would say. Uh, all right, pack of war unicorns. I can keep the ball rolling here. Similar to with the uh, dwarves, these war unicorns cannot resist uh, the firewall. Uh, yeah, I will place the firewall here because I believe that my firewall does enough to kill them even if they come forward. Uh, is my math right? Yes, okay, good. It does exactly 220 damage, so it doesn't matter if they come forward or not. Um, because they'll automatically just die to this. Alright, cool, great. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, there's this fight against Wood Elves for the School of Magic. I'd love to hit that, but I don't know how many it's going to be. If it's like 30 or 40 of them, then my angel can't clear that. Uh, I guess maybe I could if I use Cure, but I really don't want to risk finding out, so... Uh, yep, got Firewall up here, same story, although this is one of those fights where I really don't need to... Like, I could have just swung with the Angel and it would have been okay, but I'm lazy, so... Basic Diplo, okay, well, it's not like I have much of a choice now, the game's been trying to uh, force-feed it to me the last couple of rounds. And, uh, yeah, we have access to a town here, it looks like. And then we have a fight against lots of sharpshooters, which I very clearly cannot do. So, I'm going to start heading back. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to get this hero to go and uh, capture Emerald Moor, and then we'll see what we can do from there. Uh, this for some gems. All right, great. Uh, just trying to think about what uh, I should do from here on out. I'm, I'm going to keep pushing westward, of course. Uh, I'm going to probably meet up with Brissa. Because if I start heading that direction, I might be able to uh, send Brissa out to scout when I clear that path. Ah, here you are. Passus, what do you got? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, wait. Okay, this should be... I'll wait for a second. Oh, yep, they're moving back. Uh, hit these guys these guys, and I think the rest should be fine. 30 damage. Man, these guys are painful. That's okay. I got this. Uh, advanced artillery or basic scaling? I kind of need the scouting here so I kind of know what's up. Oh, there you go. There's a fight against uh, Nagas for an arena. That would have been really nice uh, if I could have uh, gone and done that. But Um... Or rather, if it was closer to the road. But, uh, that's okay. And keep in mind that these are all Luna's base stats. Like, 2 attack, 2 defense, 6 spell power, 9 knowledge. I haven't even gotten any proper artifacts to boost her up with yet. Um, she's been taking care of the map really nicely all by herself. Uh, the only problem with this map is that even though she's been handling the map nicely by herself, there just haven't been too many good objectives for her to go after. Uh, that's easily the most most annoying part of this entire map. Uh, yeah, this is a fight which Brissa could probably solo. I don't even need to bring uh, Luna in for this. How, much, how many spell points do I have? 270? I'm really not going to be running out anymore anytime soon. Uh, hit Ogre Magi, and then we'll go from there. I also just realized that you know, there's some Dragon Cliffs here. This could have been really good with the portal of summoning the uh, dungeon town. That would have made for a really fun playthrough under normal circumstances, but that's okay. Armor of Wonder. Okay, well I kind of wish I'd known that was there. I might have actually taken the time to go clear that out. I still could, actually. I, I still could. I just need to leave a sprite 
or get a sp well actually I already have a sprite on passes yeah straight up I could um, poor man's my Luna over here clear the Nagas with a sprite and firewall and get double armor or armor of wonder in Pandora's box and then poor man's off of the battle doors that's an option I have but uh, I think I might even head downwards in the subterranean gate and see what other things I can find because right now Right now, my main focus is on trying to see what's good in this area. Oh. Yeah, it's already like week three, and I mean, my army's obviously not great for week three. Um, but more importantly, my st uh, like my artifacts and stats, like I don't have anything too crazy to show for this Luna Lake. Uh, if I could find, like, a few Griffin Conservatories, if I could find, like, um, like a Relic Tier Artifact or something, that'd be excellent, but no luck so far. And there's Teal. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's just been sitting around waiting to just bleed out this whole time. Okay, well, maybe this uh, fight against Swordsman or Throng of Centaurs would take me to another treasure zone, I don't know. But, uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna go over here. Okay, well, this is one of those battles where I think I need to do this. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a long process. Yep. Mm -hmm. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well... There we go, and there we go. Excellent. Oh, pfft. right. Okay, well, yep, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I really can't take on sharpshooters, or I totally would. Or I might be able to, but I don't really want to risk finding out if I can or not. Yep, and... Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, this should be quick combatable. <clears throat> oh, cool. There's another fork in the road to who knows where. Uh, yeah, let's let Luna deal with this. Uh, she should be able to handle this herself. Oh, that is a lot of lizardmen. Um, I think even without spellcasts, I should be okay. But in the worst case scenario, if these guys prove to be too much, then I have cure uh, handy, so... I'm okay either way. Yep, we're fine. And swing these guys over here. And I think that's basically it. Uh, at this point, they don't do enough damage to really be a threat. Alright, send uh, this hero up north. And this hero west to see. Okay, this should be quick combatable. <laughs> uh, Alright, awesome. Yep. And this hero can return back to town for the time being. Probably figure out exactly what I want to do with her. And, uh, yes, Altar of Fire. So we're getting one step closer to uh, our Firebirds, which would actually allow us to have a second, or possibly even a third army, because I could probably group up all of my sprites, air alleys, and uh, other units as one army and then just have my firebirds on another hero as like the other army okay great um CL GERD let's get GERD out here I guess okay well that's that's fine whatever uh, let us send him over here get this for stables grab this for gold uh, what I want to actually find would be a sawmill that would be just excellent. Um, yep. Oh, there's red. There's purple, and there we go. I was wondering when you would arrive. Ow, that hurts. Glad I bought the uh, uh, goblins to soak up the uh, damage here. Kind of a shame that I don't have anybody to take any potential artifacts, but I'm going to assume that he didn't really have anything. Alright, finally. It only took half the game for him to just keel over. Oh, 
What is this? What is this? Uh... Hmm. Okay... Brissa... Thane... I mean, I could... Hmm. Just trying to think about my uh, options here. Honestly, I gotta take out purple. I don't really think there's any getting around it. Um, you get a lookout tower too. Oh, that's a lot of movement. Didn't realize I had so much. Yeah, I'll bring the whole lot. I don't want to cheap out here. Because if I cheap out... And I have magic arrow this time, so I should be much better off than last time I tried this. Um... Ooh, that is a lot of obsidians, though. Uh, what is this? 4 by... Uh, that's about 30-ish damage. These guys also do about 36. Now, I think the ma um, I should take out as many magi as I can here. Ow. Ow. Okay, let's uh, peel for these ones for now. And, uh... Yeah, let's uh, do our thing. This would kill the vast majority of them. Yeah, let me make sure I whittle away these obsidians for now. Ow. Okay, I think that's the uh, end of that. Alright, perfect. Done. Advanced Diplo, very nice. Uh, I will... Oh, I need five wood. Forgot I needed five wood. I thought it was five ore. Well, that's too bad. Um, and in come the Flood of Comets saying, Wow, Mikik, you really thought a lookout tower would re would not require wood? What else would you be building a lookout tower with? And honestly, I, I bet you somebody would say something like that, you know? But the reality is, in this game, you never really know what anything is going to be made out of. Like, look at a town hall, okay? Like, why is town hall only need gold to be built? Like, don't you need, like, wood and ore and other things, too? Like, come on now. Imagine building a town hall in real life. You're not going to get it off of just gold alone. There's Subchenna. There's Teal. Yeah, I was wondering where this dude's been chilling the whole time. Oh, there's a Sommel, finally. Um. Yeah, I do need to get Altar of Thought into Pyre, so I might cheap out on... Uh, I'm very tempted to, to cheap out on trying to get that Lookout Tower. Okay, I'm gonna go off-road and pray that he doesn't chase after my my hero here, because uh, I don't really feel like losing my army. There you go. Maybe... Uh... Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna keep heading outward. Now, what is this about? Why did they have some random hero that's just chilling out there? Um... Yeah, honestly... hate to say it, but... <laughs> I think this is gonna have to be my army for the next fight. All right, excellent. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Might as well pick this up on the way in. Uh, let's get CL here, so that I don't lose out on any sprites. And I think we are ready to go. Passing turn. There's 10. And here comes purple. Alrighty. Um, these aren't a threat. These get owned by the landmines. Uh, I think, really, I just had to worry about Master Grams and the Magi. So, let's deal with... No, uh, I don't know. Let's deal with these guys first, sure matters too much. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, this makes things easier for me, I suppose. Uh, sure. And let me 
me get a nice little magic arrow over here. They're gonna slow me down. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, sure. Uh, swing at these guys. Oh yeah, now they're gonna run into these landmines, and it should be uh, a okay. Another magic arrow that should do the trick on this side. Um. Back off for a second. Protection from fire, because there's. I wonder if that was to avoid the landmines, or if she was. They were scared of uh, potential. Um, what was that thing called? Uh, firewall. Imagine it was for the firewall. All right. Uh, haste. These guys get him out of the way. He's casting his last magic arrow, and this should be easy enough. Just to leave my army or my dude here. And swing and finish him off. Easy Katka, get my slow scroll. And uh yeah. That should do the trick. Um unfortunately my hero's a little bit slower now, uh, because I had to leave the golems, but oh, well, what is this? It looks like there is actually a Griffin Conservatory over there. Oh, well ain't that something. And also I still haven't learned earth magic or air. I mean like it was offered to me, but uh, that would be really good for my hero, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. Now, there's the kind of objective I was talking about. Actually, I'll, I'll deal with uh, these heroes last. I'm going to move uh, Gerd out of the way first. Or, well, maybe not out of the way, but just move Gerd. How is Teal still alive? It's been a whole week, hasn't it? Or am I, am I crazy here? Man. This is ridiculous. It's been alive for Martil's been alive for way too long. Uh hmm. Also need that that wood. It's always the wood problems. I have forty ore but no wood. Imagine. I haven't even used the marketplace this game either. Uh okay. What can we do? What can we do? Honestly, I know I know what the problem here is. I haven't actually explored my uh, sawmill. That's part of the issue. What I need to do is I need to get this hero to go and clear out these pixies and head northeast so that she can find... Oh, of course it's max size. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like close to 99 of them, but anyway. Yeah, what I'm going to do here... I am going to hunt down that sawmill with CL, who happens to be a great hero for the job since she has magic arrow specialty, which boosts her magic arrow damage by 50%. Uh, I'm probably going to loop around north and then west and then see if I can find what I'm looking for, I think is the play here. I'm going to let this hero do a bit of exploring on this side. Um, ideally, I would have liked to break this open, but I was of course blocked off by marksmen, and I can't really deal with nomads early game, but uh, who knows what's on this east side. Maybe another AI? Uh, who knows, but uh, definitely would be nice to clear that path. Luna still with 236 spell points. Now I have a few options. I can either head southwest, uh, clear out the wraiths, um, and then go from there, or I can try to like deal with this uh, Konza. Uh, and Taurusar is there too. Is Taurusar their best hero? Looks like Taurusar is their best hero, so he really doesn't have anything too threatening for me to worry about. Um, another thing too about this, uh, about this hero, I realize that I'm next to this Dragonfly Hive. I could actually clear out this Dragonfly Hive, get myself, um, I could get myself some whips. That's another available option. Once I hit those whips, I can, um, maybe have, like, another army. I can have, like, multiple sub-armies. Yeah, I'm with it. Let's do it. Uh... Yeah, I think this should be fine. Just put the firewall here. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. 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 Defend. Boom. 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 Done. 
Okay, great. Uh, now, for this fight... Uh, I'm just trying to think about... Okay. I imagine that if I leave a Naga here, it should be more than enough. Yeah, this should be able to deal with everything that I need. Just in case, I'll bring the stone golems. Uh, lots of dragonflies, okay, well, I'm, I'm fine then. Um, yeah, I think this is actually... I, I overshot, like, way overshot how much army I needed for this fight. That's okay, I can just hang out here. Uh, fire a wall here. Uh, swing these guys into this. Into here. 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 I could have actually checked um, before I went into this battle. Uh... That's okay. Expert Diplo. Very nice. Now, if this were... Well, I mean, now that I have Expert Diplo, <laughs> I could totally use uh, my army and just start snowballing if I really want to go the Diplo route, which wouldn't really fly in a competitive match. Uh, like, if I were playing, like, PvP, obviously there would be some restrictions to that, but since that's, you know, since we're not actually doing this um, PvP, that is probably the most... well, yeah, I mean, using Diplo would probably be the way to go here, but uh, for the time being... well, we have to gather our arm army anyway. Later, uh, we might even see some monsters who are willing to join, I don't know. We're gonna wait and find out. Uh, Alter of Thought... City Hall, and I think we are good to go. Uh, oh, here's Tan. Are you serious? Is he gonna death ripple? Ow. Still not gonna be able to make it through though. No matter how many death ripples he tries. Well, okay, I mean, with enough death ripples, he actually would make it in, but. Thankfully, I left my null stack there, or else I would have actually died there. Uh, okay, cool. That'll do it. Um, yeah, so Tan is hanging out. Coronius. That's what I get for leaving him alive that long, eh? Oh, Earth Magic. Right. So, now that I have Earth Magic on one hero, everybody should get Earth Magic. That's usually how my luck goes, so I hope that'll be the case here. Ah, here we are. There's that sawmill, and of course there happens to be a horde of boars blocking the road, because, you know, I mean, why wouldn't there be? But, uh, that's okay. I mean, we have what we came for, and we also have a throng of familiars. Ooh. They are scary. Scary indeed. I'm gonna lose some sprites here, but that's okay. Well, the price I pay, I suppose. Uh, magic arrow, yeah. Put these ones. And this will break the path open for me to potentially get some more resources uh, on this side, like gold and whatnot. Uh, what's Luna at? Level 14? Not bad. Really good, um, or pretty decent pacing for uh, level compared to my like practice runs. But this uh, army and the lack of artifacts is disturbing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, I have Tan just hovering around here, getting ready to wombo my hero. That's kind of annoying, too. And I can't deal with it because he's got lots of wood elves. So. Yeah. Let's get this Luna to go over here, deal with these Wraith. They're going to sap a lot of my spell points, but I should be able to clear this out without too much trouble, of course. Ow. 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 Okay, great. 
Uh, can they all make it? Yes, they can. Okay, perfect. Uh, firewall here, and... Oh, yeah, here it is. Well, they took me to the halfway point for my spell points now. That amount of vortex did me wonders, though. We'll admit, in none of my practice runs did I have, like, a dungeon town available as one of the available options. Okay, so if there were storm elementals here, I wouldn't be too worried, because I have mass curse, and I also have magic arrow, so that definitely would have saved me. Also, air elementals inherently are not too scary, because they're, well, I mean, you can't get morale, so... Um, just deal with them the usual way. Good. Excellent. Uh, okay. At this point, I could probably start using Diplo. Um, normally, I could just start using Diplo. But, uh, go in. Oh, wow. Well, here's some of the... Artifacts that I was talking about that could be really useful. Freaking scales of the greater basilisk for plus three spell power. Yeah, that'd that'd be great. Um, but I had to deal with monks. Also, again, like I've mentioned before, I have expert diplo. So if I gathered my army together, including these wives, I probably could start convincing. So, oh, and of course, I have storm elementals somewhere too, or rather. Uh, I have a bunch of these air alleys, so if I pulled everything together, I might be able to convince the storm alleys to join. But again, that's not really what I'm trying to go for in this playthrough, so I'm just going to uh, let that idea sit for now. Uh, I think Firebirds will be available next turn if I decide to go down that route. Uh, Dracon is chilling. You know, I might even send him southeast to see what he can kind of find on this side. I already cleared out that cons, of course. Uh, what, what do we got here? We have this Brissa. Yeah, I might even... I might actually push this side. I might try to clear out the monks. I feel like monks might not be the worst thing. I mean, I got... Uh, wives too, so... It should actually be okay. Alright. What do we got here? Uh, yeah, right. Oh, this, I believe, was the work of Teal. Uh, farming up this area already before I could get there. That's fine. Uh, some crystals. Oh, you know what? I am actually short some mercury. Huzzah, huzzah. Um, but on the bright side, I have everything else. 15,000 gold. Yeah, definitely enough for Firebirds, not the wazoo. Uh, yeah, you know, I think at this point, if I go like this, I can probably just turn on quick combat, not, uh, not have to worry about doing these battles. Um, for the record, I know some of you might be like, man, me kick, you don't have to, like, hey, why do you have to skip all these battles? That's like the fun part of playing the game, but Honestly, some of these battles I really can't be arsed to do, like, like... I really don't need to take on zombies with six wives and an angel. Like, I, I feel like that's something which... There are better things to use my time for, let's just say, uh, in this case. Ooh, what is this? Throng of Imps. Ooh, um... Hold on. I could probably get... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to bring the angel. Forget it. Hmm. Yep, that's fine. And hit this. Of course, that's a glorious victory. Okay, fantastic. Alright, so... Hit another area where there is actually no treasures. This is too bad. This really is too bad. Uh, pack of monks here. Just trying to think about how I want to go about doing this. Because after I clear out these monks, the next place I would want to go to is probably going to be back here. 
uh, stables and magic well. Maybe the uh, this town because I could get mana vortex followed by stables. Um, a lot of good options available. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, and then there's this Konza. That would be the uh, probably next thing I should probably deal with as well. Uh... Well, this is a little annoying. Alright. Let's uh, make the transfer over here. Um, what am I up against again? Oh yeah, monks. Monks and... Well, yeah, mostly just monks. Here we go. Uh, let's deal with this. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, mass curse to start. Would that do anything? Or would I be better off just throwing a good old magic arrow? Yeah, let's try Mass Curse. I don't ever really open up with this. Let's see if that does me any good in this battle. Uh, curse is probably more useful against, like, monsters with, like, really low... Oh, wow, okay, well that actually helps because then they didn't target the Wibs. I imagine that without Curse they probably would have targeted the Wibs there. Um, yeah, because usually Curse, if I were going up against, like, Tier 1, Tier 2 units who have, like, really low damage, then yeah. It's, uh, Chris is amazing, but here I don't know if this does me too much good. But, you know what, honestly, I'm not really going to think too much about it. And at the end of the day, these guys are um, not doing enough damage to kill my guys, and I get to maybe save more of my units than I would have without Curse, so can't complain too much. Uh, sure. Oh, okay. Well, that'll do it. Oh, come on now. Alright, excellent. Uh, we grab this. Scales of the Greater Basilisk. And I can actually start heading back here. Uh, could I deal with these storm alleys? I probably could, right? Oh yeah, here's a good battle where I can just abuse Curse. Oh, no, I don't even need to uh, use Curse. Oh, I'll go figure. Um, yeah, I think it's faster for me to just keep running rather than transfer my army off. Uh, so I'll basically run up through here, and I'll go straight over to this stables, and I think I should be pretty good. Okay, anyway, uh, Eris is over here, uh, I mean, Battle Scholar Academy would be great, but I don't have the, um, whatchamacallit for it, uh, I don't have the wood, or at least I probably would, but then I wouldn't be able to, if I bought it, then I wouldn't be able to get my Firebirds next turn. Uh, speaking of Firebirds, I need to figure out what I want to do on that front, um, it looks to me like I have two marketplaces available. I'm probably going to need to do something like this come next turn, is what it's looking like. Uh, rather unfortunate, but, I mean, it's not like I can buy my marketplaces anywhere else, so... Yeah, we're just going to have to to roll with it. Yeah, I'm just waiting to see if one of my other heroes, like, finds a pile of wood, because then that saves me the trouble of... Or, sorry, a pile of mercury. Because then that would save me some trouble, but if not, then I guess... We're just going to have to deal with it. Well, the funny thing about this playthrough is... Uh, I'm actually, like, next to all of the AI. I feel like if I was really playing this seriously... Let me see how many AI are left. I took out Teal. Um, yeah, I left Purple on Starve mode. <laughs> Blue... 10 red. Yeah, I know where three of the other AI are. Like, I could easily send a hero to Glade Root to go deal with that. I could probably even deal with that now, can't I? Curse. 
Coronius. Yeah, I mean, honestly, as much as I hate to say it, I don't think I can handle Coronius in my current state. Oh, there's wood. Oh, yeah. I mean, no Mercury, but this is a close second place because... Oh, charming mana. Anyway, what that allows me to do is I will get a marketplace in this town. And I will get a marketplace in this town, so the rates aren't as garbage. And then I can go like this. I'll probably even use gems because why would I need to use? Or like I got tons of gems available to me. I can get my pyre. Pyre, pyre, plants for hire. And uh... oh, there's Dracon, right on schedule. Uh, although we got Coronius here. So what I could do is I could go fetch five Firebirds. Like, straight up. Just get five Firebirds. Um... Okay, well I can just wait here. Luna... How far can Luna go? She can go pretty far, but she can't make it all the way. If she had the Angel only, then it would have been okay. Uh... Yeah, at this point I just need to deal with Coronius. If I can get Coronius out of the way, the rest of this should be pretty easy pickings. Then I could grab Luna and send her this way to deal with the Konza. But again, I really wish I could find a treasure zone. I really didn't want to spend all my time trying to like take down each of these AI. You know what? I think the treasure zone is probably here. I think this is probably where I would need to go, although, of course, uh, I see Throng of Gold Golems and a... F or, sorry, Throng of Gold Golems guarding the Sentinel Shield, and lots of Warrior Cards guarding a Necklace of Ocean Guidance, like... I mean, it would have been nice to find, like, better artifacts, you know? With slightly better guards, and then seeing just how strong she could really get. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not too late. I can still do that. Yeah. Might give that a try. Also, she didn't develop very well either. She, like, I still don't have access to Expert Slow, but uh, we're making do with what we've got, I suppose. Okay, anyway, uh, Mystical Garden. I've already visited this Mystical Garden, so I wait here. And I think I can just send this hero back up this way. Um, I think I could get my Luna to go pick up the army if I need to push. And this hero is hovering around. Hmm. Oh, you know something? I should have checked this. To see if uh, this was Mercury. Should have done that much sooner. Uh, we can go up this way. Gonna make that exchange in a second, but first I want to see if this is any part of the map which I would know about. I should have also passed by that obelisk. That would have been fun. To try to see, but oh well, that's fine. Oh hey, look, there's another hive here. So uh, I could have totally tried to use this area to farm wives. Again, I guess I still, I still probably could because if I get firebirds, um, I should be able to just throw firebirds and the rest of my army on some side hero and then let them do all the farming for me. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Ah, yes. Okay, I shall send my hero southeast, southeast, and. Alright, and he is ignoring me. Okay. Alrighty, so we got uh, Sprite Growth plus 5. Yep, that's uh, totally, totally useful for me at this point in the game. Mm -hmm. If only it were Firebird plus 5 now. Now, then, we would be talking. <laughs> but uh, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. 
All right. Anyway, uh, we can grab these. That's that's awesome. Um, oh yeah. This here to go pick up some of this stuff. No wood on this side, sadly. Uh, more resource collection. 14k. Alrighty. So I can buy out the air LEs. I could probably even... Nope, can't quite go that route yet. But I can buy out the five firebirds easily. Followed by these sprites. And if I really wanted to, I could buy out all air elementals. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to weigh out my options here. Uh, and then send it here to Glade Root. Yeah, I think, I think that's pretty legit. I could... Uh, by the end of this playthrough, I'll probably have been able to take out Tan. And then I will be able to get my Luna to go and clear out this Konza. Or maybe I should just keep heading down this way. I don't know. I might actually just head him down this way, because what fun would it be to go and do deal with one Cons instead of trying to see if there's any cool goodies down here, like a Tome of Air... Or like a, I don't know, Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment. Or as the cool kids like to call it, a teapot. Anyway, yeah. Uh, you know what? What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to buy this. And then I'm going to convert a lot of my gems into gold. I can buy out all my air alleys, although I think that's overkill. I really didn't need to spend that many gems, but whatever, you know what, let's pretend like we totally needed to. Um, I could also probably turn these guys into ice alleys, can't I? No, it, I've already built something. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not really too concerned about that. Uh, Alright, great. So, here we are. Um... I could probably even deal with this fight using the other hero, uh, Brissa, instead of instead of Luna. Like I'm like thinking about this. Yeah, probably don't even need my main for this battle. Okay, uh, yeah, let's try this, I guess. I'll bring the Wivs, who am I kidding? I like to keep the sprites in reserve, I don't want to bring the uh, Angel, if, and risk getting him killed. Um, the strongest stack he's got are the Wood Elves, that's kind of the thing that I'm most worried about, but maybe I might be able to pick him off with the Firebirds right out the gate. Let's find out, let's see what we can do. Yeah, it really is only the Wood Elves that are scary here. Um, let's see. Okay, well, I have an idea. This should do the trick. Oh, come on. There you go. That slows him down a little bit. Um, alright. What do we got? probably wombo these guys. Uh, and I could probably do a nice little breath attack on these guys. There you go. And then breath attack these guys next. Boom. And slow them down by bringing them right here. Okay. Wow, those guys actually hit pretty hard. Mm-hmm. What have we got? Do I have magic arrow? Looks like I do have magic arrow. I could probably just magic arrow this guy down, can't I? Oh, uh, yeah. That'd be, that'd be great. And magic arrow. Alrighty, uh, 
Yeah, these guys do actually hit pretty hard. I'm probably going to be able to kill one if I attack here. 6 by 12. Yeah, sure. Let's give it our best shot. Come on. Did they manage to kill one? Yes! They barely survived. Very nice. And I think they should be okay. Booyah. Nice! Alright, that was a fairly straightforward battle. Um, lost far fewer units than I was expecting to, to be completely honest. Uh, hit this. Uh, right here. Grab some attack skill. And then... Bring it back to the road. Right where I belong. Alrighty. Uh, there's blue. Uh, blue is coming in. Try and cause me some problems, I can see. Um, yeah, straight up, I could probably send Brissa to go deal with that using this army. Uh, and then I could probably send some other side hero to deal with Glade Root. Oh, there's the, or there's the Redwood Observatory. I've already visited that. Uh, maybe I'll keep heading northwest. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to keep exploring southeast on this side. Maybe I can find something of use. Okay, well, this just loops me back to where I started this uh, subterranean gate. Um, alright, I got another five turns, it looks like. Um, what can we do here? Ah, uh, yes, more resources, but maybe I should skip the resources and go for, go for the end game here. Which would be this direction. Uh, yeah. Glade route. Yeah, that's gonna be a job for Brissa. What is this? Monks? I'm gonna take on monks for this. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do about that. Oop. Okay. So, let's, I guess, get the Firebirds and these Pixies, or sorry, Sprites, and Air Elementals. And the Air Elementals can soak up a few rounds. That's what I'm going to do. Hit the Subterranean Gate and try to break this open, of course. Ooh, ooh, that's painful. That looks painful anyway. Alright, mass curse. Fingers crossed here. One, two. Oh, excellent. Three, four. Wait. Ow. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. Um,. I have Cure, so let's Cure them. And I think... I shall swing here. 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 And... No, wait around. Oh boy, these guys do hurt. Um, I think what I can do is put these guys in position to hit uh, the Zealots. Um, get these guys to swing. They survive that? Okay, well. I was not expecting that. Uh, if I swing, retaliate, and then my uh, air alleys can go. Yeah, I think it should be okay. I might lose an air alley, but yeah, I think that should be fine. Or, well, a few air elementals. Or just one. Okay, great. As long as I don't misclick and breath attack, but yeah, there we go. Alright, of course they offer me water magic for the trillionth time. Um, 
Sure. I mean, I got plenty of wells in this area, so... Ideally, it would have been nice to get offered earth or air at this point, but I guess the game has other plans for me. Uh, who do we have? Oh, right. We got this guy. Now, this hero... is supposed to be the one to go start exploring in this area. Five Firebirds. Um, you know what? I think I know what I need to do here. I'm just trying to plan out my moves here. So, we've got this hero coming along. I'm going to leave only a sprite on her for the time being. Um, I'm going to get Dracon with the five Firebirds and all of these units to get ready to push the uh, town. And then... After I'm done pushing the town, I can chain the army back to Brissa, and she can deliver it to Luna, I think is the uh, play here. Yeah, I really can't imagine that town having... being able to put up a good defense against... Uh... Against five firebirds. Okay, Throng of Horned Demons. I will be honest, this is a little scary for me. I don't know if I can actually do that one. Uh, 140... Or sorry, 9 times 10, that's 90 damage. Uh, expert fire, that puts me up to 140. And then, of course, double that is 280. That would be enough to take out 5 horned demons per attack. Uh, and really all I'm getting out of this is Ring of the Wayfarer, because I don't care much for Strapple and Distilled Voices. So, um, you know what, I'll do it for fun, see how far I can get with this. Uh, I think it's doable, but it would be a difficult battle. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Well, that's a little scary. Alright. And maybe I should just double firewalled from the beginning. Like from this side. Ooh. Yeah, doable. Just in a very unconventional way, I suppose. Okay. And drop another firewall. I think that's the end of the battle. Uh, yeah. Done. 48.30. Uh, on XP. So, what else we got? There's a path up there. Not visited. Ah, uh, yes, Dace. Hmm. Whatever will I do with you, Dace? I would like to deal with Dace next. And glorious victory. Excellent. Purple has been vanquished. Alright. And that leaves... Um, one fewer player to deal with. I want to check out... Oh, you know what? I just realized it. I was going to say, I wonder where Tan's other heroes are. And I just realized Tan is over here. And I don't think he's got any other heroes, right? Let me just check here. Yeah, Tan's down to his last hero, and that's the one that's hovering around in this snow terrain. Um, you know what? Just just for good measure, let me... Um, 69, nice aura, I just realized, but uh, look out tower. Uh, hit this. And there you go, there's Elishar hovering around this area. I've got access to this Konza if I really want to go down that route. Again, that would have probably been a smart call to go and... I mean, honestly, even now, like, if I set up my chains a little better, because I have 15,000 gold, so I have the means to do it, I could have actually probably grabbed, uh, this Konza. I could have grabbed this hive right here. Apparently, there's another hive down here. I don't know how good that would have been. So, definitely a lot of different, a lot of things I could have done here. Um, then what's on this side? Yeah, I don't think I can reach these diamond golems. This is on the other side of this mountain range. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here's another hive that I would have maybe been able to deal with using Brissa or some something 
like that. Uh, okay. Well, let's uh, send her this way, this way, this way, and ah, there you go. Ogre's Club of Havoc. Unfortunately, I can't really deal with that using Firewall. Again, for some reason, they're just giving me all kinds of difficult guards this time around. Hmm. What a nasty set of blocks, but well, we're making do with what we got. Still no s castle, thankfully. Uh, Alright, let's just deal with this now. Should be no problem. Ow. Pegasus, I don't want to come forward. Well, color me surprised. Wait, what? The, they're targeting the sprites? Okay, well, I didn't expect that one. I mean, I was expecting them to target the uh, one stacks, but not the actual big one. Alright. Ugh, oh, AI in this game is so weird. Okay. It's fun. Alright, I think that this should do the trick. And there goes the rest of my sprites. Uh, advanced leadership. I did manage to capture the town. Um, do I need to buy another hero out from this town, though? I don't think I do, actually. So, we have taken out... This will have been three of the players. Uh, at least as Red's got the, the highest kingdom army strength. Hmm. I wonder how true that is. Um... Yeah, Luna has these... Oh, man. Sort of energy elementals. I actually don't have an easy way to deal with that. I think I'd be able to win the battle with my uh, full army here. Where are they? Okay, Dracon. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I mean, I've got 32 airs, uh, 6 waves, 5 firebirds. I think I would be able to handle... Um, I th do think I would be able to take on the energy elementals with that, but I don't really want to risk finding out what the losses for that one would be like. Dace. I'm assuming this is their strongest army, right? No, apparently their strongest army is on Sinka. Alright, well I'm going to keep Luna searching for some fight that she actually can take, because, well, this game's been really quite something. More diamond golems? Alright, yeah. I mean, why not, right? Uh, sure. Right here. Yep. And finish them off. There you go, advanced water magic. Um... You know what? I might send this hero out to go scout. Yeah, maybe this is the this is the one for the uh, for the job here. Need to free up a hero. Uh, it's probably gonna be Gerd. She's been by far the most useless position I think out of everybody I have. I'll free up this hero. It's a Zidar. Um, yep, Horda Harpy Hags. Again, I don't really think... <laughs> they don't have anything useful here. I get an extra set of whivs, but I'm really looking... What I'm really looking for is artifacts. Uh, no, no. Let's see. Uh, firewall in front uh, prevents them from coming forward. Put another firewall here. Defend instead of wait, because we saw what happened earlier when I used to wait instead of defend. And then another firewall, defend. Boom. Done. Fight's over. Okay, well, this isn't too bad. I mean, I didn't get the, uh... I did not end up getting that artifact I was looking for. However, 
it looks to me like I get uh, I actually get a Library of Enlightenment instead, which also is really good. And what's this hero up to? Oh, gee. Am I really just leaving this town unguarded? Come on now. Come on, Mekik. What are you doing? Uh, four cent... Yeah, you know what? Let's just buy them all out. It's really time to get, get Castle, but whatever. Uh, what do we got? Dracon? Yeah, I'm going to send Brissa northwest, see what's out there. Uh, this hero is going to be still on standby, just going to hit this. I'm going to be out of reach for Dace. I mean, I don't think he can clear rocks with that army. No, he bled out a lot of his units, judging by how weak he is at this point. Uh, Horde of Halberdiers leading or going to some kind of subterranean gate that would have gone who knows where. Uh, Dracon. How far can Dracon move? I already hit his stables, so. Yeah, here's fine. Okay, I could have actually grabbed a pile of gems. Whoopsies. Uh, Tan is going the way of the purple. Um. AKA to his doom. Just to be on the safe side, let's just buy these out. Yep. Now for sure I don't think he'll be able to recapture the town. And then... Luna hits this. Heads this way. And it looks like there's another hive. It's 1-800 hive central, I suppose. Alright, well... Mm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Alright, you know what I'm going to do here? Uh, just check this one more time. So, yeah, this looks to me like the extent of what this area has to offer. I'd basically be just clearing out a hive and another hive. I think I'm actually going to try that with Luna. And then with my other heroes, I'm going to focus on... Oh, wow. Uh... Hey, I guess that's going to be the end of that then with uh, CL. Anyway, um, yeah, my other heroes, like Dracon and Miner, uh, I'm going to get them to push the main town of the uh, dungeon player. I believe it's uh, blue, right? Yeah, it's blue. So, yeah, I'm going to clear out... I'm just going to transfer. Yeah, why not? Uh, Eris goes this way. Come on. Please tell me his town is near. Come on. Let me just reach it. No! I'm just not close enough. That's too bad. That would have been so good if I could have just MKO'd it out of nowhere. Well, that's too bad. Um, I hit this. Uh, yeah. Might as well give Glyph of Gallantry. Oh, yeah, right. And then she... Can get ready to solo these uh, griffins and the hive fight. Yep. Yeah. There we go. I don't even know if I needed two firewalls now that I think about it. Uh, probably even one is sufficient. Here. Well, let me actually see. Boom. Yeah, okay. We're good. Easy Katka, we go over here. Oh, you know what? Just be on the safe side. Or we'll bring the imps to soak up some hits. Same with these. Wait, what am I doing? I already have uh, I already have this Ring of the Wayfarer, so my angels are speed 13. Meaning that I should be able to handle the... Oh, okay, or I could just solo it uh, with the angel. Okay, well, and I will take this army, and I'll wait right next to this horde of harpy hags. And then, of course, this alchemist lab is looking awfully juicy, but I should probably uh, spend my efforts on... Oh, this is connected. I didn't even realize. Uh, nah. Don't, 
I mean, I have Portal of Summoning. If this were a normal game, I would probably uh, try to use it with something like this Dragon Cliff right over here. Uh, there it is. I would have probably tried to clear out the Clops, grab the Dragon Cliffs, and then Portal of Summoning that. That would have been pretty cool, but I don't care for uh, an extra homestead on the start of month two. And, um, yeah, Ciel's just heading back. I don't really think I have too much to add with her. And this town, again, wait, why does it say I can't build capital? I thought I already have a capital somewhere, don't I? I could have sworn I have a capital, or am I crazy? Maybe I don't have a capital after all, huh? Like, this whole time I thought I had a capital, but I guess not. Okay, well, whatever. Um... This hero is just chilling. This hero is kind of in the same boat. And... There it is. Glorious victory. Not even a contest. Town has been vanquished. Alright. And I think that's kind of it for now. Uh, Luna... There you go. Oh yeah, Eris. Here she... Uh, here he is. Ah, well, ain't that something. He's got his entire army chilling inside that town. And I really don't think that this is the right hero for the job. Oh, there's Sinka. Hmm. Interesting. So the majority of his reinforcements are inside this town. I believe that I probably could take it down. Um, yeah, I probably could take it down, honestly. No, maybe not, because I'm, like, thinking about it. They might actually focus down my air alleys. Or, no, sorry, they might focus down my firebirds instead of my air alleys. Um, yeah, so that could be a bit of an issue. Alright, Luna, here we go. I'm gonna get Luna over here to get ready. It doesn't really matter, does it? Put down Firewall and they can reach in uh, two turns. So, press Defend again, and they all just walk in and die. Very nice. Awesome. Glad to hear it. So, I don't know why I didn't bring my reinforce. Oh yeah, right, because I have uh, the Ring of the Wayfarer. Yeah, game says I suck, of course. Uh, place a firewall right here, walk right here, and boom. Easy uh, eight whips. All right, uh, what do we got here? Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, there's Magogs down there, but I'm not going to go down there. Um... Yeah, what am I going to do now? Uh, oh, you know what? I know. The last thing I'm going to do with my Luna is probably attempt to deal with this Konza. Yeah, I'm with it. Okay, let's do that then. I will pick up the Sprite. And chain my army back with Brissa. Luna flees from battle. I will bring Luna right here where she belongs. I'm gonna chill here, um, refill my spell points, and then get her to start running this way to go and deal with the Horde of Walking Dead. Okay, great. And then my other heroes can uh, begin their trek. I have um, Brissa. I'm gonna send her this way. Zidar. Does Zydar have anything useful here? I don't think so. Not really. Well, what do we got? Oh yeah, Passus. Yeah, mm, Passus is out of movement, though. That's a bit of a problem. Um, oh, there's a path here. Okay. Let's see what is down here. And 
throng of pixies guarding some mercury and some gold. Um, yeah, that seems like a, seems like a doable battle, actually. I got magic arrows, so it should be okay. Or maybe not. <laughs> okay. Well. Probably could have just tucked them in the corner and it would have been okay. Oh well, whatever. Boom. Okay, great. Uh, get some mercury and some gold off of this. Very nice. This hero has very much paid herself off um, in terms of value. Uh, yes, this battle. I think I have an idea as to how I can take that fight. I think Dracon's here, right? Oh, excellent. Um, who's my least useful hero? Zydar, funny enough, is my least useful hero. I'm going to get rid of Zydar now. And here's what I'm going to do. Uh, Labatha? Yeah, sure. Let's get Labatha. I'm gonna get Harpy Hags. And I'm actually gonna get, uh, Manticores. And I'm gonna get these. And these. Why? Because... I mean, that was expensive, but it'll be worth it, because... I'm gonna transfer my army over here. There we go. Uh, get this guy to come along. There we go. Eh, I can even maybe do this, yep. And then send Miner to go and deal with this. Now, the only question is, should I get Miner to take that battle, or Eris? Uh, it's not like I'm really trying to actively level like either one of these heroes, but I know that this hero has haste and magic arrow. Mostly haste. So, I do think, though, that uh, Miner would be the better candidate for this battle, so I'm going to get Miner to do his thing. What's my morale like? Oh yeah, that is some horrible morale, but whatever. Six wibs. Yeah, who needs morale? Who needs morale anyway? Sure, what is the worst that could possibly happen? Oh yeah. We're targeting the beholders. Uh... Okay, well, they're not coming forward from the looks of things. What would even be the target here? Sure, I'll aim at these guys. Alright, probably gonna take down these ones first. Oh, they're aiming harpy hags now, eh? Alright. Okay, that seems like a worthwhile trade. Ow. Oh, wow. Okay, well. Uh, probably could just fire at these guys. Aim them. these guys out. Ow, that actually did quite a number. Yeah, take them out, and these guys are still 1 HP. I wonder if they actually will get shot at. Uh, yep. And I could probably hit these guys. Oh, come on! Ah, uh, of course. Of course. How could I forget that that's a thing? Of course. Well, I mean, these things do happen. Oh, that's embarrassing. I think uh, my ego hurts more than the actual losses that I incurred from that. But uh, anyway, that's fine. Uh, what matters is that I got this town, which has a capital and a castle, as well as a potential portal of summoning, and uh, a dragon cave that I could have totally gotten. You know something? What I could... Um, I'm just trying to weigh this out for a second. Could I pull it off? I don't want to try. Yeah, I wonder if I could get myself a 
bunch of dragons. Start of the next week. Uh, start of the next week. I wonder if I can get my angel and all the dragons. Oh, also there's this fight against the Nagabank. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely think that's doable. Yeah, I'm going to give it a try. That would be quite a way to wrap up this uh, Luna playthrough, which, I mean, it was supposed to be a Luna-centric playthrough, and it kind of was, but, I mean, it was nice that I was able to get my uh, second army out there to actually doing stuff. Um, whether or not you guys uh, enjoy that, I assume that you would, um, remains to be seen. But, yeah. This is kind of where we're at. All right, we're reaching the closing stages of this match, though, so let's uh, get ready to wrap this up. I'm just trying to think about what to do now. Um, what do we got? Oh, yeah, I remember. I need to actually go through here. Yeah, I might even skip this Kanza. Hmm. Maybe I won't need to. Rissa or one of the other heroes can deal with that. How much gold am I making for turn 11,000? Oh, yeah. And then there's this fight, too. It's the Naga Bank. All right, let's uh, figure this out. Like, actually, um, Labatha can go like to about here. Uh, who would be in a good position to grab this and go? I think I had. No, I didn't. I actually don't have a hero in this area. Well, that's too bad. Maybe I can get uh, a dungeon here, or like a hero from the dungeon town to walk out and collect my army. And then push from there. Yeah, we could try that. Sure. Erdemon? Yeah, I mean, Erdemon's got tactics. Not, not the worst idea, I suppose. Yep. Hit this. Hit stables. Now or later. Yeah, let's hit it now. Well, actually, it costs more to go that way than, and then come back. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, that's fine. Stables. And I might have to skip the snag bank, but I got plenty of resources, so I think I should be okay there. All right, passing the turn. Uh, kind of a long turn, but we'll have to do. Do I want to deal with? This. I want that Naga Bank. Get some resources, but whatever. I'm just gonna have to assume that I have enough for what I'm trying to go for here. Um, I should have probably just missed these gnolls, but let's see what's down here. Ooh, look at that. There's more goodies. There's red. And yeah, red is a castle player, so it looks to me like this is probably not his zone. I would have needed to go southeast to find them. I guess it would. I would have to. Would have had to go past here, uh, and then go far east. All right. But aside from that, yeah. So blues down uh, a town. Um, I don't think he's gonna try to fight me. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to eliminate him by the time this game is over. But uh, I think it's clear that. There you go. Uh, it's clear that, yeah, like, we've actually, in this first month alone, on 200% difficulty, um, been able to take out most of the AI already, or, like, leave them, like, starving, and we already know where, uh, what are the remaining players? Red, orange, pink, and blue, of course, but, yeah, here's blue. Blue's accounted for red would be the person I would have hunted next, and then the other players are heck knows where, but I have full control over this map, so it doesn't even really matter too much if I go hunt them down, because I could grow my army really fast here. Um, and I have the highest kingdom army strength, so I am good. I pick up gems. 
Oh, uh, what do we got now? Oh, yeah. I remember. Dragon Cliffs. Let's get that Unicorn Glade. There you go. And... Uh, yeah. Let's see. Brissa. Oh, yes, right. I remember what I was trying to do with Brissa. I was trying to pull my whole army together so that I can go and fight whatever I feel like. Uh, okay. Where are we at? I'm just trying to remember who needs to go where. Okay, Eris is probably dead. I can probably sack Eris at this point. Um, he has outlived his usefulness. Uh, what do we got? Five Harpy Hags. Um... Blue might be able to make it back start of the next week, but I should be able to shut him down pretty easily. Uh, if he does come back, I just need to bring Monera to go recapture the town. That's not a big deal. And besides, this playthrough isn't like this is the last. These are the last two turns of this playthrough, so might as well just go all in on what I'm trying to do here. Uh, here we go. So Labatha heads over here to Erdemon, makes the transfer to Erdemon. Erdemon goes over here, grabs the stables, and, uh... Huh, I might actually be able to do both of the things I want to do here. I wanted the angels, and I also wanted the... Wait a second, where's the... Oh, pff, of course, I'd forgotten something I knew I had. Uh... I think I can still do it, though. There you go. Uh, yeah, there it is. And what's Luna at? Nope, out of movement. Okay, well. Here we go. Hmm. Ring of the Wayfarer. Yeah, I think I'm fine. I mean, I gotta, I gotta be flat out honest. I'm actually not sure. Uh, whether or not I can do this fight against the Griffin Cons. I guess we're going to find out <laughs> in a second. But if I am successful, then here's what I will have uh, at the beginning of next week. I will have about four angels, and I will have about six green dragons. And that should be enough to secure me the game. Oh, and speak of the devil, uh, Blue is coming to try to recapture his town. But that's okay, because we're going to have a defender for it pretty soon. I just need a moment to deal with all this. Okay. Um, I'm going to save the best for last. I think that's going to be my plan here. So let's send Erdemon in through this gate. And what's my morale at? Ooh, garbage. Yep, I do not want to fight that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I need the XP on this one. Yeah, that's fine. And... Oh, well, that hurts. Yeah, they're going to focus down my... my uh, ranged units if I just wait, I think. Yep, thought so. I'm surprised they're trying to the Beholders instead of the Deuces. Okay, they, they, there you go. Ow, no wonder. Ouch, these guys hurt. Ow. Swing these guys. Uh... And might as well attack these guys, and swing these guys, alright. Yeah, I'll lose a Wiv, probably gonna lose another Manticore. Wow, you guys actually hit pretty hard. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a problem, ain't it? Don't want to 
want to hit my own units on this, so I'm going to probably just back off for the time being. Swing. And then swing. Y'all cure. That doesn't matter. Boom. Hit the air alleys, but doesn't matter. Alright, lost two wibs. That's fine. The wibs are expendable. Who, who cares? Who needs wibs? Uh, hit the green dragons. Spirit of Oppression, my favorite. And, um, yeah. Let's get ready to do this thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, come on now. How? How does that even happen? Explain this to me. Uh... Okay, sure. Wait for it. Uh, fire at them. Draw out the retail. Swing at these guys. Swing at these guys. Swing at them. And finish them off. Boom. Ah, there you go. Nice green dragon. Now, as I was saying, we now have a defender for this town. Uh, in the form of a green dragon. And I believe we also had another town where I can go get my... Well, the green dragon. Do I have any other sources of gold? I don't believe I do, actually. Except for here. I can wait until later on. Uh, move this hero this way. And I think it's about time I convert my resources and I can get, in this ramper town, Dragon Cliffs. Alright, so let's take inventory here, and I actually maybe could have even gone for Castle. That's greedy. Um, I'm getting uh, an additional two dragons, or green dragons, next week. Uh, so that's three from this town. Um plus one on Erdemon, plus one from the Dragon Cliffs, that makes five, uh, plus a sixth Green Dragon on Scar, uh, seventh Green Dragon at Dark Burrow, and then one more Green Dragon from each of these towns. So I would, at the beginning of the next week, have nine Green Dragons, and, and, I'm not done yet, because we have Luna. Um, so let's actually use her to do her whatever it is she needs to do. So, here you go, Luna. You can clear this out. This should be trivial. 69 nice uh, walking dead. Uh, alright. I still don't have earth magic for whatever reason. Uh, 340 damage. Alright, well, hopefully that'll be enough to get me by whatever... Uh, Set of monsters I have to go up against in a moment. Alrighty. Horde? Oh, perfect. That's just what I was hoping for. Um, yep. Let's put it right here, because then I don't believe they will come forward. And I think... Oh yeah, Ring of the Wayfarer, no wonder. Uh, yeah, let me just speed things up here a little bit. Alright, excellent. Okay, that's everybody. And that puts us at three angels. And, um, yeah, the nine green dragons I was talking about that I'm about to get. And, of course, uh, if I really wanted to take it one step further, although that's really great, I could build castle in here. Um, get three firebirds. So, start of next week, I would have a grand... You know what? Let me take one more turn, and I'll show you guys just... Um, I'll take inventory of everything. And I also still have Cinco to deal with. Uh, and like I mentioned before, this is kind of a joint effort between Luna and those Firebirds. But, um, 
hopefully you guys kind of see at least some amount of uh, how useful Luna can be, right? Like, if I didn't have Luna when... Well, yeah, if I didn't have Luna, it would have been quite difficult trying to get through uh, and push these AI. Like, I, I think I use Luna to shut down the AI mostly. Um, I'm just trying to remember exactly how this all went. No, you know what it was? I used Luna to take down the Griffin Konza. That's what it was. Once I took out the Griffin Conservatory with Luna, uh, that's where Luna became like a one-man army. Well, one-woman army, I guess, and she was able to like uh, farm out most of this zone in the subsequent zones she visited on one angel. And I even lost my air elementals and uh, sprites uh, to that one AI that came and actually took out my army on week two. But because I had my free angel, I was able to uh, like uh, take him out and capture his town and then continue farming this area. So uh, even though the angel didn't like, or Luna and the angel didn't like, completely dominate the map uh, we can see that it was like really uh, they really helped a lot in making sure that on week two I had my tempo still going and it looks like the AI is trying to dig for the grail here hmm yeah I was wondering about that I saw the puzzle map and I saw there was like uh, snow terrain I'm like okay maybe it might actually be in this snow zone but I didn't have enough obelisks to check so yeah I mean on top of having the nine green dragons on top of having the eight firebirds and on top of having the angels and the wives it looks like I would have also have had uh, knowledge of the grail as well or like the grails location so yeah this guy's just chilling Brissa is just hanging out, honestly. Yeah. I probably would get my other army from Darkboro, and I think that would be that would be that. Yep. I already have marketplaces on my towns. Okay, I think I'm good. Here we are. Forced to suffer a bitter defeat. How? Yo, literally have a castle. Like, how do you lose this? Oh, probably sent the green dragon out to, um, to die. I imagine that had to be it. Come on, just stay here. And we're Gucci. Not hard. Yeah, it's really nice that I have this green dragon. If I didn't have the green dragon, it might actually have been a fight that I would have struggled a lot more with, but oh well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, there you are. Now, nah, wait another round. I don't need to come out with my green dragon yet. Oh, there you are. Oh yeah, they're both the same speed, no wonder because of uh, terrain. Awesome. Glorious victory. That's blue uh, out of the way, and this would be blue's only other remaining hero, which I would need to take out, and then I'd probably dig up the grail from on this side on this week. Uh, meanwhile, this town... Ah, uh, yes, got another green dragon coming up. Uh, I have eight heroes available, so let's see if I can... I can uh, even things out a little bit here. Ooh, yes. Uh, oh yeah, this hero actually has quite the amount of movement. I don't think I would have been able to get all of my firebirds and deliver it to the this central area uh, on this turn, but I mean, I had three available. And where are the other ones. Eh, sure. Okay. Here you go. There's the green dragons. Uh, this hero would have gone this way. The Dracon. 
Drakon would have picked this up. And I think I could have sent a hero out from here. With all of these green dragons. Where are my dragons? Here they are. And here we have Labatha, who's a little ways away, but... Oh, of course, I'm one step short, of course, but that's okay. I mean, briss has got this. Uh... Already visited the stables this week, yeah, but of course. Well, I will say, this is a very expensive uh, venture, but it would have been totally worth it. Um, three more green dragons, and where? Erdemon. There we go, okay. So this town, I would have actually pulled in all my gold like this. Uh, oh, Clavius, oh, there's a nice, uh, good hero. There we go. Eh, who needs ore anyway? Never had ore problems. Here's my three dragons. Okay, and here we are. Uh, Clavius. And I think this would have done it. Oh yeah, just enough movement. Excellent. There it is. Hey, hold on a second. Where's the rest of my dragons? Oh, pff, they're on Labatha. Alright, well, we can pretend that I actually was smart enough to properly grab the green dragons before I transfer it. Or maybe I can use Luna for this. Yeah, I wouldn't have, have had enough movement, but you get the idea. Uh, this is more or less what my army would have looked like at this point in the game. It's looking pretty decent. Oh, air elementals too, why not? And a spirit of oppression. Well, don't mind if I do. Uh, yep. And then, of course, we had Labatha with her green dragons. Um, yeah, the following turn, I could have gotten the Firebirds from Styriam. Uh, and then from there, it would have just been a matter of cleanup. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, yeah, none of the AI are even close to this level of stats. 4, 6, 12, and 13. Again, kind of disappointed that I couldn't get any higher than that, but... I mean, I think part of the issue was, again, like, the only real, like, good um, stat boost that I found was this, Library of Enlightenment. When I did my uh, practice run uh, before I, you know, recorded this for real, uh, I actually found, like, a Sword of Judgment. So, I was, uh, it was nice ro walking around with a Luna who had, like, uh, seven plus all stats. Well, I mean... Like, 7 attack, I think, was her lowest stat, and then everything else was higher than that, obviously. Um, but I guess that play or in that playthrough, my army wasn't as large as it is here, where I actually have, like, what, 9 green dragons, and, like, firebirds, and uh, 3 angels, and some wives. Oh, see, that was another thing, too. I haven't even cleared out all of the hives. There's this hive right here that I could get. Uh, I haven't even picked up the Grail yet. There's another hive here. Um, and... Oh, there's orange too, so... Yeah, straight up, I have red and orange accounted for, so I would have already been pushing to go take them out. Um, oh, and there's a hive here too, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, you can kind of see where I would have gone from here, and the rest of the game would have probably been... Uh, cakewalk I imagine but anyways ladies and gents that is where I am wrapping up this playthrough I really don't think there's anything else to be said about it um yeah I mean I don't really have anything more to add than what I've already said a few times um yep I'm just going to do this and make myself feel better knowing that yeah I did get the uh, green dragons together and one big happy family, like it's like Dragon Tales or something, I don't know. Um, 
yeah, but overall, I hope you all enjoyed the playthrough. That is pretty much everything for me. Um, I think if there's any final things I want to check out. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's let's have just a little bit of fun and check out what this was all about. Oh, Nagas want to join. Okay, yeah, sure, absolutely. See, <laughs> with Diplo too, right? That would have been uh, huge. Uh, and then from there, I could have probably even done something like this. Would I have gotten, like, where's my earth magic? Oh, I got, yeah, I got scouting before I got earth magic. How does that work even? I don't even understand. Yep. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. We have uh, Tome of Fire Magic and Crown of Dragon Tooth, and that would have uh, been, well, grounds for me to go around nuking everything with the red button. And I also had Firebirds and Phoenixes, so yeah, this would have very uh, shaped up to be a very, very, very quick game um, from there on out. Um, yeah, okay, that's all for me. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any final remarks I have to make, but I don't believe I do. Uh, I think that's everything I gotta say, so... Um, I really do hope that you all enjoyed this, uh, fun little... I don't, I don't have a good name for it. Uh, mini playthrough with Luna? Uh, and, well, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, so... With that playthrough out of the way, happy holidays, everyone! I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Ah, oh, I am never going to be able to stomach down the level of cheese I do in, these, in this silly little channel. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you all for watching and have a fun time playing Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Peace.